Good morning, Facebook! So today, I accidentally shut my alarm off. Fortunately, I like to get up at like 4.15. I woke up at like 4.38, which was enough time for me to like jump up, bolt in the shower, uh, take a real quick shower, brush my teeth, get out the door, and get to work. Oh, I was only like three minutes late. I get here, I usually like to get here at 5. I got here at 5.03, so not bad. But I'm operating under that kind of, um, you know, that residual panic that you get that like gives you a little boost. So I got a lot of energy. And uh, there's more that I want to say, but apparently I didn't start the stream early enough to get it all out. I'm still using my stand-in headphones. I glued my other ones yesterday. I'll let it sit for 24 hours. So let's see how that all works out. Let's get to dishing. Billy's Bowl. The Daily Dish. At 27 years old, Taylor Swift has a net worth of $280 million. $71 million of that is tied up in real estate, so E! Online decided to break down her property holdings and calculated that in the seven homes she owns all across the country, she has 46,864 square feet. That's a total of 39 bedrooms, 43 and a half bathrooms, 21 fireplaces, five pools, five bars, two tennis courts, and one ocean view, which is at her vacation home in Rhode Island. Why do we need to know all this? Because sometimes it's fun to remind ourselves just how far outside reality celebrities live. If you're ever at the front row at a Khalid show, he wants you to do one thing for him. Please refrain from touching his junk. He was asked by TMZ how he felt about fans in the front row groping Harry Styles at one of his shows and Harry speaking out, asking them to stop. Khalid says it's disrespectful. And he says he doesn't mind a hug, that's cool, just don't go down to the nether region. I am of the opinion that celebrities shouldn't expect to have the same level of privacy as your average citizen. You know, you signed up for this lifestyle, you get paid millions to live it, we get to watch you do it, and we get to talk about it. But that's it. That does not extend to their naughty bits. Those are still off limits. With the announcement that Justin Timberlake would be headlining the upcoming Super Bowl halftime show, there were rumors that Janet Jackson would make a surprise appearance alongside him. There were rumors that she's banned for life from performing with the NFL. There were rumors that their halftime show was going to have to do with taking a knee. There were even rumors that the halftime show would be done entirely while kneeling. Well, the NFL has addressed one of those rumors specifically. They said she's not banned now, and she never has been banned, which sounds to me like she's probably going to show up this year. Their official quote on the matter, We're not going to comment on any speculation regarding potential guests. There may be no guests. We have no clue. Yeah, okay, that's a lie. Don't act like with Justin Timberlake performing and that history, you don't know exactly what's going to be going on. Woo! So, today, holy Moses. It's, this whole week, we are loaded with stuff to give away. So if you want to win things, I got things coming up to win. I got it at 7.40 or thereabouts, 7.45. I got a pair of tickets to see MJ Live, the Michael Jackson tribute concert, January 21st at the Times Union Center. Coming up after 8, about 8.10, got a pair of tickets to go see Robert Kelly at the Coe's Music Hall, presented by Comedy Works. Coming up after 9, we got another shot at Jam's Jetaway number 1, Rolling Loud SoCal in San Bernardino, California. This is an awesome lineup. Uh, Post Malone, Future Ray Schremer, Lil Uzi Vert, Young Thug, and more. In California, in December... So don't tell me you don't want to go out to California December 16th to go see that show. Get yourself qualified during the High Five and Nine, and we'll hook you up with a Jams carry-on bag full of Jams prizes and swag. As I said, I am a freaking rolling ball of energy, thanks um, in part to the fact that I woke up late this morning. That's just, it's how it goes. It always starts off as like, it's like, oh no, I'm late, no! But then you get here, and you're energized because of the fact, look at that. Moving, like, mm, moving the dang phone uh, just by smacking on the board. But yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Also, today, October 24th, is the 11-year anniversary of the release date of the greatest album of all time, The Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. It's my favorite band ever. Uh, and I've never been more excited for an album to come out than I was in uh, on October 24th, 2006. So, pretty stoked. Going to be listening to that album front to back. Um, I know it's not hip-hop. Or really hits. I mean, I guess Welcome to the Black Parade was... I think it might have been a top ten hit. I'm, I don't remember. I know I know it got radio play, like mainstream radio play. So that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm having a good time. And three hours from now, a little bit less, um, 
The Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Jeez, I, there's so many things running through my mind right now. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, we got the Cubicle Show at 1030. So if I can keep this energy going through the show, oh my goodness. Yesterday's show was pretty good, I, I thought. So if you want to check that out, we post all of our shows every day. Uh, we, we, you know, like we leave them up on Facebook, so they're archived, and they're also on the Jams YouTube channel if that's more convenient for you. We have all of our videos that we've ever done uh, on Facebook and on YouTube. So check them out. Um, anyway, I guess that's all I got for now. I am running my mouth way too much, and I am speaking extremely loudly. So I'm going to save my voice because, you know, it's my moneymaker right here. Um, and uh, we're going to get ready to give away some tickets to go see Michael Jackson tribute concert at the Times Union Center. It's coming up in five minutes, so don't miss it. Until the next time, which is Cubicle Show, or if you're listening to the radio show, awesome, thank you. Uh, thanks for watching, and peace be with you.